So I'm going to show you how to uh, create a Google Meet and prevent students from being able to join uh, before or after your Meet is taking place. So we don't want a Google Meet where kids can join uh, before you've entered and we don't want them rejoining after you've left uh, and chatting and hanging out on their own. So um, you can do that in Meet. You just have to create a nickname first. So I am in Google Meet and I'm going to join and start a meeting. Now, when I do that, it's going to ask me to enter a meeting code or nickname. This is where I need to come up with a nickname that I'm going to use for my Google Meet. Um, it needs to be something that no one else in the district will be using. So if you have a common last name uh, like Smith, you may need to add something to that. Um, I know, for example, uh, my last name is Wagner, and there is uh, another Wagner in the uh, district. So I'm going to go ahead and make my nickname Swagner. And so anyone that would join this meet, um, this is what we are going to have students enter in, is this nickname. Now the beauty of this is not only does it prevent kids from coming in when we don't want them to, but it also allows you to reuse this nickname over and over and over again, which is, I know, what, something a lot of teachers want to be able to do, have, keeps you from having to create a whole bunch of uh, random links. So I've created my name, and I hit continue. I'm going to go ahead and allow, dismiss. Now it's important to note uh, that from here, um, once you get to this point, my meet has started. Even though I have not clicked join now yet, um, I am actually in my Google Meet. So it, once I'm to this point, a kid could technically join uh, my meet. From the student side, all they're going to do to join a meet is they're simply going to hit join or start a meeting. They can either do this from a browser or they can do it using the meet app on their iPad. And all they're going to have to do is put in your code. So once they type in their code and hit continue, they are now joined in your meeting and you no longer have to um, give out um, links. If I go back to my meeting now and I hit join now, okay, it still gives me my code. Um, I can still use that if I want, but I do not need to use that as long as I've given uh, my uh, meeting a nickname. All right, so this S. Wagner is what I need to be uh, passing out with students uh, whenever I do my chats. So the beauty is, again, teachers can reuse that nickname as many times as you want. So anytime I have a chat, all the student has to do is punch in that nickname and they can join. If they try adding that nickname uh, and joining the chat before I am in the chat, uh, which again, remember, is that last step, even though I haven't clicked join now, once I start it, um, I'm in the chat. If they try joining beforehand, they're going to get a message that tells them they can't start their own chat. So up here in the corner, I can see everyone else who is in my chat. Um, here's my other account here. And all I have to do is make sure that everyone has left that chat before I do. Uh, and as long as there's nobody left in the chat when you leave, then they will not be able to rejoin. If a student is refusing to leave, uh, you can simply click on theirs and hit this little minus sign, and this will remove other people from that call if they aren't cooperating uh, with you on top of it. So now uh, I have forced them to leave the chat. All I have to do is hang up. This chat is now over. So that's all there is to uh, making secure chats that prevent students from hanging out before and after.